Welcome, it's Eden Amadora, and today I'm going to talk about the value of a personal spiritual mentor and three things you would seek when you look for one, three things that you'd want to be there as you search for one. So I am very blessed to have found a personal spiritual mentor in my life, and sometimes I call her my fairy goddess mother, Arielle Spilsbury. And she has been a wonderful living example of embodying unconditional love and speaking truth as love, even when it shatters. The willingness to tell the truth from her lens, from a neutral lens, even sometimes with a bit of strength and direction behind it, when it was appropriate, when it really served my soul growth. And I have worked with many teachers and some even maybe considered spiritual gurus. What I am aware of when, I'm, when I was seeking a mentor is that I wanted to see, number one, that they were self-responsible, meaning they weren't projecting anything on me of their own unintegrated stuff. So when you're seeking a spiritual mentor, a personal spiritual mentor that you spend time with, one-on-one -on -one time with, you wanna make sure it's very clean, that they have your best interest at heart and that you're not serving their agenda. This is a, a slippery slope in the spiritual community. Often people get enamored with spiritual teachers to find themselves kind of in their sticky web of spiritual ego. So when you're seeking your spiritual mentor, that first point is, are they self-responsible and are they truly clean in their delivery of their guidance to you? Or are they guiding you to do things to make them somehow more famous or you know, work you into their stories of who they are? That is a, a big problem in the spiritual community. So number two, when you're seeking a spiritual mentor to make sure that you're not giving your power away, that the person isn't absorbing your adoration and feeling empowered by you being less than them. A true spiritual mentor is going to empower you. And if you praise them or adore them, often they're very humble. They often put it back in your basket, so to speak. And spiritually speaking, reflect the wisdom that anything that you can see and project on them is within you. So really noticing if they're empowering you or if you're kind of feeding their power trip. It's a very important thing. Um, the third thing is that the teachings are alive. The teachings are alive and beneficial to your life and really that these teachings make you feel supported in your real life circumstances. When you're seeking a spiritual mentor but they're just giving you a million mantras and things to do that don't help you actually break through the challenges in your real life. Is that truly the kind of mentor that you want to work with? You want the teachings to be alive and pertinent. So for me personally, teachings that have to do with being present, being open-hearted, trusting your inner knowing, all of these aspects my spiritual mentor has really empowered me to feel in myself as a template. And when you're seeking that mentor, this is like a fourth thing that it's an extra, to feel if their teachings are based in love. Because ultimately, for me personally, all spiritual awakening and growth that isn't based in love is false. It's all just an ego trip, a power trip. We don't care about extra sensory powers or CDs, yogic superpowers that can help you see auras or any of that. If you don't have the love in your heart to serve that being who you're seeing their aura, whatever is happening from your superpowers, it doesn't matter. And this is of course my opinion. What is the truth of your seeking? What are you seeking? 
So the value of that spiritual personal mentor is that they are like a living embodiment that transmits those codes to you that in their presence, in the way that you watch them resolve challenges in their life, you watch them communicate with others, you watch them uplift others. And then when you're in your one-on-one -on -one work, you feel your vibration raise. That value is priceless. Those codes that you receive are priceless. So this is my guidance for seeking your spiritual mentor and the value of a personal spiritual mentor. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a like. And if you're not subscribed, you can do so now. Only love. Thank you.